Hello everyone. Um, to navigate the camera I'm using the Maya setup. And now let's start with the cube. I like the edges to be white so let's set it up. First let's scale the cube on an axis. And that axis will, uh, and that uh, will form the basis of the palm of our hand. Now deselect everything, and uh, let's add some edge loops. I'll show you the menu um, commands. Uh, when I use them for the first time, but later on I will just use the keyboard shortcuts. So to add more edge loops, uh, I use the keyboard shortcut G and C. Let's select some faces and insert them. These will form the bases for our fingers. So let's move them. These are our fingers. Now we make another selection to complete the palm of our hand. Extrude and um, scale on an axis. And we can use the selection to further extrude the arm. I like to put my model on the ground, but that's just a personal preference. We need another edge loop. Now we can select a face and here we extrude the thumb. The thumb is not um, on the same plane as the fingers and uh, we will rotate the uh, thumb slightly. We select uh, the faces that we want to rotate And uh, now we use the rotate command, but with the right mouse button. Now we select an edge as the axis to rotate around. Let's do another extrusion to complete the thumb. So this thumb does not look uh, very realistic. We have to do several rotations and uh, adjust the shape as well. First we do some rotations. Again we use the right mouse button so that we can choose an axis to rotate around. This will need uh, several adjustments. We have to check from all angles until we are satisfied with the look.
um, we want to uh, move this edge on an axis which we select an, uh, an existing edge and then we can move it uh, along this um, axis. Now let's further adjust the shape of the thumb or of the hand. This is a little bit tedious. We are moving uh, edges and uh, vertices and uh, we check from all angles So now our basic structure is still not complete. We, we want some more volume on the hand. And uh, let's select some faces and uh, extrude them. We can use this selection to um, scale it in a uniform way. And now um, we want to um, smooth out the current selection. This again can be a bit tedious. We have to um, move vertices and uh, edges until um, it looks smooth. Again we have to check from all angles.
Okay, ähm. Um, all, ähm. Um, all vertices are. Okay, smoothed out. Now let's uh, do a quick smoothed preview. If we have any n-gons, if nothing is selected, then we have all quads. Let's uh, do some final adjustments. For example, let's bend the fingers a little bit. Again we use the right mouse button on the rotate command. And finally, um, let's adjust the length of each finger. Okay, now we can do some smooth preview. Um, I hope you like the model and uh, thanks for watching.